what's going on guys so I'm gonna be starting actually doing vlogs of my daily life maybe a little bit of working out thrown in there just things I go out and do at being 20 years old there's a lot of things out there that I'm gonna be trying this summer particularly that I'm gonna challenge myself to that I really want to share with everybody and just it might think motivate people even go out and just aspire to go challenge yourself more than anything that's my been my thing my goal for this year is that I'm really trying to challenge myself and this part of it is doing the vlogs so I'm gonna start out with actually something very interesting that happened to me today uh, my friend hit me up in the morning and there's a rave going on tonight I don't know if you guys are aware of Beyond Wonderland it's a pretty good event it has a really good lineup and I've been trying to plan to kind of go the past couple of weeks I wasn't too sure if I was gonna go today or not if it kind of fell on my pen, like lap how it did today, I was going to go. So it actually worked out pretty well. I am going to end up going tonight. Me and my friend Matt, uh, we're going to go together. He's getting his ticket later. So it's going to be really interesting to go check out. Uh, right now, I got to get ready for it. So I'm going to get my hair cut. Pretty fucking messy right now. Like, this shit, bad. And then go to the bank, take out some money, and just kind of get ready for tonight. I have my brother's birthday dinner. His birthday dinner was last week. Uh, his birthday was last week. But his dinner is this week, so I'm going to do that. Kind of fill up on the food and then go out and have a good night. Um, other than that, I'll keep you guys updated. You guys will be seeing some pretty cool stuff tonight. Alright, so I got my hair cut right now. Feeling a lot better out here. Let this car go by real quick. Feeling a lot better, looking a lot better. Notice my face is feeling a little bit fuller today. Probably because I went out to TGI Fridays last night. Got the Endless Apps. Did about six rounds of that with the basket of fries and uh had some spinach arch up dip a little bit so i'm definitely seeing the uh, results of that in my face a little bit today all good though i can burn that shit off pretty quick uh and now i'm about to just head back home and hang out for a little bit get ready for beyond like i said i was going earlier so it's gonna be interesting to see how tonight goes i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be a lot of fun i love going to these events and everything it's really good time really good people there a lot of really good vibe. I'm here with Matt right now. This fool had to go buy his ticket today because we had to find him one. I found one on, was it Craigslist? Yeah, Craigslist. We found one on Craigslist for him, and so he went and picked it up from some fools from Toronto, right? Yeah. They weren't even Canadian, though. You said like they were like kind of Arabish? Or... Yeah, they're like Arabic. I don't know. Okay, so. I yeah. don't want to like stereotype. They look kind of right. Indian or something. I don't know. Alright, cool. So yeah, he got some from some. Arabian and Canadians, which is pretty cool. Arabian Canadian. <laughs> hey, that kind of rhymes, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. <laughs> so right now we're gonna go and actually have dinner with my brother and my family. It's oh, it was a birthday last week, so we're celebrating that. Have a lot of food coming up. Kind of see a glare right there from that. Want to get a little better yeah. look at him? Oh, oh you shit! The car crash. We have, it was a car crash right now. Yeah. So we got that Beyond Wonderland ticket. About to go rave. I haven't drank a lot in a while. I used to drink a lot. I was for you. <laughs> every like almost every day, but so tonight's gonna be pretty fun. I haven't really had that much fun too recently, you know. But yeah, that's the main reason why I did this too. Was we were, we were kind of planning on going, but essentially like it was never a guarantee for us. And literally this morning, like I said, it popped up for me. It just fell into my lap. So I was like, "Fuck it, might as well go." So I called him up and I was like, "Hey, are you still trying to go?" We figured that shit out, and now we're just gonna go out and have a fucking good ass time tonight. We don't have anything to really worry about. We got a ride, we got alcohol, everything's all set for us. Yup. So we'll catch you. All right, we got here right now. We're at Beyond. Beyond, baby. We're about to have a good ass time right here. Once we get inside, we'll send you guys some more video, but we're here right now. We're about to go get it, have a good ass time, right, Matt? Yup. And we're ready a little bit of busting right now, honestly. We got a little bit wild, did some natural active. We got some natural active with some vodka, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're about to have a good ass time.
We just got out of Beyond right now. Fucking good ass motherfucking time. I just had a hot dog that was made by a Mexican lady on the corner. Yeah, I got a water. We fucking need this shot. I have a badass call in my mouth right now. And then, hey, how, tell me, did you get a jalapeno? John, fat, uh, John, John danced with a fat girl. No, I didn't. I might have. <laughs> <laughs> I might have. No, no, he did it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, Matt, did you dance any fat tricks like? No. Nah? That was a good night for you? Yeah. It was cool. I had a good ass time. Diplo kind of surprised me. He threw the fuck down. Yo, it was cool. Diplo can get the dick though. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? All right. Well, we're waiting for my dad to pick me up right now. So we we kind of we looked the fuck out. We got fucked up. We had a good ass time. Then we got a good. We ass finished ride. a whole water bottle full of fucking vodka right in front of security. Oh yeah, get this. So yeah, we got stopped at security and we had a whole water bottle, aquapina bottle of fucking vodka, and he was like, "Oh, you guys can't bring water in there." And then all of a sudden, he decides like, "Hey, you guys should probably bring the water bottles in with you." So He's like, after, you should yeah. bring in the empty water bottle to refill it with water. Yeah. He's like, "But you need to finish your water, though, you know." Yeah. So me and him down a whole fucking vodka bottle, a water bottle, and then this fool tells us that. He was all like, "You need to get your water with the little fucking eyes that telling us that he knows there's vodka." In there. He knows we're fucked up. He knows yeah. we're getting fucked. He was like, "You know, you need to drink your water. You can't fucking <laughs> be dehydrated." And we're like, "All right." And yeah. then, Nobody fucking shares a water bottle and fucking makes faces while chasing, <laughs> yeah. while chasing it with an energy drink. <laughs> yeah, like, we, were we were we were legit fucking just pre dating with in front of the fucking security guard. And that was the whole shit. fucking water bottle full of vodka, just right there. It was wild, but we had a good ass time. I'll let you guys know what happens later. I put like five different girls up on my shoulder tonight. I danced with like six different girls, so that was yeah. cool. One of them was fucking the man, though. No, just kidding. <laughs> you always got thrown under the bus, don't you? <laughs> just talking shit, this motherfucker right yeah. here. First it's fat chicks and now it's man's. So fuck that shit. Alright. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I went to Beyond last night. The little that I tell you guys, though, is I have an 8 a.m. shift right now that I have to go and kill. At the 6 hour shift, so I'll be here till 2 o'clock. I'm looking forward to this. My body's wrecked right now. Like, my legs are about to give out. I got a busted lip, if you guys can tell right now. So it's gonna be a long day. But it was all worth it. I had a great time right now. Uh, I didn't get too much sleep. I don't wanna put the chance of uh, not waking up and then there's already people outside waiting for me to open the gym, so. There'd be pretty a lot of unhappy people if I didn't come in and open the gym on time, so. Yeah, it's gonna be a long day. It'll be a real long day. Alright, well, I survived my shift. It's time for me to go home. I'm probably gonna eat a little bit of food and then just knock out and go take a nap. I've never been this tired in this shift. I'm just about dead. So, uh, 
I'm probably gonna go home and knock out for four or five hours, depending on how I feel when I wake up. I might, might go to the gym. Probably a big fat chance I'm not going today. My body is straight up wrecked. My lip is busted. I can freaking keep feeling it, so that's bugging me. Uh, my ankle's a little bit sore. My body just freaking wrecked. I haven't felt like this probably in a couple of months, so I doubt I'll be able to go, but if I do go, it'll be really light. So if I do, I might film a little bit of that, but uh, it just depends on what I do, honestly. Other than that, uh, I'm gonna go home and knock out. It's been a long weekend.